Hello everybody. Uh, just a wee quick video here on the uh, the Fei Tech uh, Mini 3D Gimbal. It's been giving myself and lots of people different problems. Really, it's been a bit of a nightmare. But uh, anyway, have a wee bit of a solution. If you've seen previous videos, you'll probably see that uh, they were very, very jello type and uh, completely useless, to be honest with you. So anyway, made a little modification to the gimbal balls and uh, done a wee quick test flight which I will uh, put the video on later and the uh, the difference is uh, second to none, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I've heard about the, uh, is it the earplug? <sighs> yeah, the wee sponge ear foam plug things that people put into the balls to try and expand it and stuff. But anyway, I had a slightly different idea and this is what I've done. So I can't take the gimbal off because it's on the aircraft already, but uh, I'll just try and show you quickly. So here's the gimbal, anyway, and it is quite balanced. I had to move the SJ cam over slightly, there's a bit of a gap here for it to hold its balance, if you understand me, but it is uh, a lot better balanced there, you know. So, uh... There we go. Anyway, yes, yeah, so what I done was, you see the small gimbal balls, six of the balls. Well, what I done was, I was, I thought about the idea, first of all, I was going to drill it. And uh, try and fit these wee balls here uh, for a normal size gimbal, which I do have also here somewhere. Oh, where is it? This is uh, my cheap Chinese gimbal which actually worked quite well with the Alex Moss board and uh, sensor and uh, it actually worked quite well for me I was actually really pleased with it for all the price of it 30 odd quid bit of a nightmare to program but still so I wanted to up the game a bit and I thought I'd go for this mini 3D and uh, quality <sighs> quality was rubbish <laughs> anyway I was going to try and bore this and fit these in uh, because it was very, very soft, a uh, bit of a nightmare, didn't work, it wasn't going to work. So, in the end, what I done was, uh, uh, I had a wee bit of hose, and it was, I tried it, and it didn't work with the hose. But anyway, this is what I did, I found a bit of cable, here, just normal uh, two-core cable, round two-core cable. And what I done was, uh, I uh, stripped them up. Of it off. Yeah. It's going to be a wire out of me. There we go. Strip the back of it off like this. As you can see now, the gimbal walls. If you look closely, you can already see what I've done. I've done it on the four corner ones, not the two middle ones, but after my first video there tonight, I will be putting them in the middle. So I'll do it now. So what I done was, let me just out of the way, might be better with this off actually. Now you might not like this but I actually put the wee bit of wire in my mouth slightly and wet it with some slabbers. <laughs> this makes the process easier. Now this is about 5 to 6 mil or something, something like that. It's not too far off the, uh, the size of the hole. Sorry about that. It's not too far off the size of the hole in the gimbal balls. So I wet it slightly and I press it through until it comes through the other end. About three or four mil. Hopefully you can see this okay. And then basically what I done was Three or four mil chop. That was it. Now I'll do the other side. Wear it in the mouth slightly. The gimbal ball the, the gimbal ball holes up through. The slabbers just helps it go through. Right about three or four mil there. And basically again snap. 
Right, that's all six done. So there's a wee bit of uh, cable uh, insulation now up through each of the gimbal balls. And if you look there, you can see how much more stable that is. It's actually amazing. <laughs> You know, uh, what I think part of the problem was all my props and everything were all well balanced. And I was still getting a lot of uh, like jello effect in the camera. Uh, you will always get a bit of vibration. I think the vibration was coming down through, coming down through the arms uh, on the landing gear, coming through everything, and just the effect of the soft balls was actually multiplying the vibration effect. It was making it worse instead of cancelling it out. It was actually doubling the effect. So once it started to shake. Or vibrate the vibration wouldn't come out so it needed to be slightly stronger so that is what i done and i done a test video uh, it was quite dark tonight i got down to the park as quick as i could i done a test video and uh came home watched it and it turned out actually quite well so i was rather pleased with it so this is, i'll check it tomorrow with the two others now done that'll be all six balls done and uh we'll see how it performs but uh, other than that, I can't say much more until the next video. But I will put the video up along with this. And you will see the difference compared to my other videos, which I took with no nothing in the balls at all. What a difference it made. The only thing I still don't like is the yaw heading follow. I'm hoping a software release or firmware release soon will help correct that. Uh, I'm actually thinking of maybe sort of hot glue in the gimbal on its third axis here in place for the meantime and just use it off its two axis rolling pitch but the yaw at the minute there's still when i'm flying uh say i'm flying forward uh the gimbal could maybe be sort of pointing off a wee bit and i think i'm going forward and then the camera starts to come round and then i'm not actually flying in the direction i want to be flying it doesn't seem to correct itself it's very slow if i turn the hex really fast in the air it catches up and does center but if i'm turning the hex slow for a pan around it slowly follows with it and then whenever you stop the hex you think you're pointing a certain direction then the camera comes on around and you're actually pointing a different direction a bit annoying but uh hopefully new, the new software if they bring that out will help crack because it's quite a good wee gimbal i like it nice and neat and tidy it's brilliant where i have it mounted there now let's see gimbal mounted there now it's nice and tidy and uh the legs when i'm pointing down this leg does get in a wee bit in, the, in, the, in view this one doesn't whenever i'm normal flying forward or back nothing's in view i can come up right a good bit before any of the uh the arms come into view anyway uh sorry about the, the video jumping a couple of times there I had the, uh, if you can see in the TV itself, looking in the TV in the TV, now you ought to see it. <laughs> but uh, I had uh, a wee camera uh, taped in a, taped in a hat <laughs> to get this to work. It worked a bit, but anyway, I'm sorry about the mess I shared. I'm in the ham radio, and that's the ham radio. I haven't been out in ages, and you get this wee shack of mine sort of. But anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching.